Okay, mark your calendar for Saturday, April 30th, and volunteer to make change happen on Comcast Cares Day. Each spring, this event celebrates Comcast's commitment to service and helping improve the quality of life in local communities where their customers and employees live and work. Last year, a record 100,000 participants volunteered at more than 900 projects in 22 countries, collectively donating $13 million worth of service. This year, Comcast is hoping to meet or exceed that number. And to give us the info on how you can get involved, we are now joined by Comcast Senior Director of Human Resources, Carmen Lennon. Carmen, thanks for coming in. Welcome to Urban Update. Thank you, Carmen. Tell me, so how did uh, Comcast Cares uh, start this mission and uh, just talk to me what e the mission is all about? Sure, absolutely. So about 15 years ago in 2001, this was really um, as part of an effort from employees to give back to the communities and it started very small with a group of employees and since then we've uh, been able to contribute more than four million hours of service in the community and as you mentioned we have hundreds of thousands of employees that participate each and every year. And what kinds of uh, what kinds of service things do they do? Yeah we, we have um, wonderful partnerships in the community with um, groups like City Year, with Urban League of uh, Eastern Massachusetts and we go out and work with the YMCA, we work with the Boys and Girls Clubs, we work with parks and recreation, try to beautify the city um, as much as possible we do painting projects, landscaping projects, and really try to have just a day of giving back and beautifying the, the communities that we work in. Now, I know you've been part of uh, Comcast Cares for years now. Talk yes. to me about uh, any special memories you have uh, being involved. Absolutely. I have many special ones, but two years ago in particular, we were at the Boys and Girls Club in Dorchester, and we were preparing. It was a Friday evening preparing for our Saturday event. Uh, Mayor Marty Walsh was anticipated to be there. We were uh, going to offer an Internet Essentials grant to one of the club members. It was a really big day for us that we were planning for. Um, but on Friday, um, we had two of the children that were still in the center getting ready to leave, and they were just as excited as we were. And they gave us a high five as they were leaving the center, big, huge smile, and said they couldn't wait to see what we had uh, done over the weekend on that Monday. And it just, for me, it just brought back, you know, really what this is all about. It's about the children, it's about the families, and just the community in general. Wow, really cool. Now, yeah. talk to me about, I guess, what are two Boston area sites that could benefit from more volunteers? I know there are a couple. Um, yeah. You know, go ahead and you know, make, make your pitch to, to the viewers about volunteers. Absolutely. So there are a couple in particular. Uh, one is the YMCA in Dorchester at Codman Square, where we're going to have uh, painting activities uh, to really um, help the teen center there. We're also building a nine-hole mini golf course um, at that facility, which I Whoa. think is the first in Boston, so we're really excited about that. Impressive. Um, the other one, which is a pretty large one, is the city of Lawrence, and we're anticipating about 1,500 volunteers, and that is really to help um, you know, do some work in the parks throughout the city. So that's another one that's that's really big, and we're excited about both of those. What about the uh, the feedback that you get from the volunteers? What kind of feedback do you get from them? Yeah, it. I mean, this to me, I, and for most of the volunteers, is about engaging their hearts. It's an opportunity where people take time away from work and do things to give back to the community. Um, it's it's special. Um, it makes working at Comcast special because it just brings meaning to what we do. Um, and I, I sense that people are very, very happy. They tell me that. They're excited to be there. Um, it's a long day typically, but at the end of the day when people are leaving, they're smiling, they're happy, and really that's what it's all about. And, and what about the, uh, the Comcast employees? Uh, this is obviously a much anticipated tradition by now has been going on for years. It is. It's it's huge at this point. Um, as you mentioned, 22 countries. Uh, we started small, but it's very, very large. And, and really, the reality is that our employees take time away from work mm -hmm. um, and come together with their families, with friends, to participate on this day. And just to wrap things up uh, very quickly, how can uh, interested in viewers sign up as volunteers. Absolutely. Just visit uh, ComcastInTheCommunity.com and you can easily register through that website. Okay. Carmen Lennon uh, with another year with Comcast Cares Day coming up. Um, thanks for coming in and 
good luck with this year's program. Thank you, Byron. All right, coming up next, Fashion to the Rescue, a fundraiser happening this Tuesday where many of Boston's top models and celebrities are donating their time. All of the details when we return will be right back.